I am now going to ask each of you to declare that you know of no lawful reason why you should not be joined in matrimony to one another. So starting with you, George, if you could repeat after me. I declare that I know. I declare that I know. Of no legal reason. Of no legal reason. Why I. Why I. George Jeffrey James Robinson. George Jeffrey James Robinson. May not be joined. May not be joined. In marriage to. In marriage to. Paige Marie Edgell. Paige Marie Edgell. Paige, you've always been a loving, caring person, very well organised, and when you put your mind to things, it's done. You only got to mention it, and it's done. It seemed like only yesterday that I held you in my arms and looked at your precious, tiny little face and wondered where life would take you. Today, as I stand here, proud to see that you are a beautiful, strong, caring, loving, thoughtful, and hard-working person, and a loving mum. As parents, that's all you want for your kids, is to be loved. George, and I know she is, you're welcome, mate. And Paige, again, if you could repeat after me. I declare that I know. I declare that I know. Of no legal reasons. Of no legal reasons. Why I, Paige Marie Edgell. Why I, Paige Marie Edgell. May not be joined. May not be joined. In marriage to. In marriage to. George Jeffrey James Robinson. George Jeffrey James Robinson. Brian, thank you for giving me your permission to marry your daughter. Everything that I love about Paige is stored in your values of respect, love, and care for those around you. I see you're happiest when you're with your four children, and I want to let you know I will always love and protect Paige, and will do everything in my power to keep her as happy as she, here, as she is here today. To the most important woman in this room, my beautiful wife. Uh, firstly, Paige, you look absolutely gorgeous. I couldn't ask for a better bride. Even if I did, you'd kill me. Uh, thank you for putting your all into everything that you do. Today being a true example, you really have organized, thought and planned of everything. You're a perfectionist. The venue, your dress, the decorations, even your choice of group. I could stand here all day and tell everyone the story of how we met way back when, when we were teenagers, uh, and all the great times that we've shared right up until this day. But truthfully, I have so many memories that we would be here all night. But there is no doubt that I have loved the journey which our relationship has been on, the chapters and milestones that we have passed lead us to today. Our wedding day is said to be the happiest day of our lives and it will be cherished by me as that. Like today, you're also by my side on the other happiest day of my life. You have been part of something that I could never do alone. You made me a father. For nine months you carried Nancy, the most precious girl in our lives. And there is nothing more proud for me as a man to be able to stand here today knowing you, my wife, now share the same Robinson name as our daughter. I can truly say that I am in awe of the woman I am lucky to call my wife, and I love you with all my heart, and I couldn't... Uh, sorry, sorry. Uh, and I couldn't imagine sharing my life with anybody else. Thank you for... A Thank you for being a beautiful mother, an amazing friend, and saying yes to making me the luckiest man alive.
with that, can I get everyone to please raise a glass to my, my gorgeous wife and my beautiful bride, Mrs. Robinson. I give you this ring. As a sign of our love. I promise to be. Faithful, loving and loyal. For always. To cherish you. Through good times and bad. And to respect and honour you. George and Paige, you have both made the declarations required by law and solemn binding promises to each other in the presence of your witnesses, family, friends, and as registrars gathered here today. May you treasure this trust and responsibility, and may you live rich and full lives together. It now gives me very great pleasure to announce that you are husband and wife. Congratulations, and you may now kiss your bride. <laughs> George, we've been friends for what, 17 years now? And over that time, we've come closer and closer. We have many, many people referring to us as a couple. <laughs> I'd like to thank you both for not only being great friends to me and being there when I needed you, but also for being there for Joe when she's needed you. Paige, I know she's needed you quite a lot lately. You know, I think I can speak for us both when I say we couldn't ask for better friends and I hope that our friendship lasts for many years to come. Finally, one of the main reasons that we are here today, on January 18th, I would have got it right, 2020, George and Paige welcome their beautiful little girl Nancy into the world. After many years of being their third will in a relationship, they finally got rid of me. <laughs> Paige, I know that having, you know, the same surname as Nancy is very important to you. And today that has come to fruition. So if everybody could raise their glass and join me in the toast. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you the Robinsons.